What's up Diva fam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below we are doing a Dollar Tree haul and also a try on. So I recently went to my Dollar Tree and saw how there was a new brand, at least a new brand to me, um, available at the Dollar Tree and I went to like two, two maybe three different Dollar Trees recently um, but most of this is from like two Dollar Trees but still. We got some good stuff. We got some good steals and deals and some great finds. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video so you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, give this video a big thumbs up because it helps us so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D. And let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, well, welcome. Love you guys to be a part of the hashtag Diva Fam. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. I post videos two to three times a week. They are beauty, lifestyle, and makeup videos. So if that is something you're into, again, I love you guys to be a part of it. I also am a part of a collab group, makeup challenge group here on YouTube. We've only got like two more episodes left, which is crazy, but I just recently put up my episode for this month, and it was like really cool like Grinch themed and I thought I had so much fun with it. There's also a bunch of giveaways going on in the midst of Vlogmas. I don't know where this video falls in that but I will always link any giveaways I have going on down below and I do actually do giveaways quite often on my YouTube channel so if you want to be a part of that then again make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe down below and there majority of the time they are open to everyone. Sometimes I might do, do US only, sometimes I might open up to everyone internationally. It just depends on what's going on in my life traveling for work, not traveling for work, what my bank account looks like, you know. Um, but I am a makeup enthusiast. This is a huge hobby of mine, something I really love doing. And I appreciate you guys being here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Today we are talking about the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree having some new makeup um, and stuff that I really, really wanted to try for you guys here today. Um, so some first steals and deals that I saw right off the bat when I went to this Dollar Tree when I was in uh, Illinois recently. They had all these freaking Ardell lashes. I kid you fucking not. So they have these Ardell Aqua Lashes. I remember when these first came out a long ass time ago. I don't remember if people said they were good or bad. I just saw them and just had to pick them up. So they, have a, they had like every style you could think of. Um, this is in the style 344, which is, I don't know, but this is what it looks like. And then I also picked up the style 341, and that is what that one looks like. So them side by side. You can see, kind of see the difference. And I'm so sorry about the glare in the background. Can you guys see? I have a new addition to my room. <laughs> if you didn't see my what I got for Christmas, um, this is my new fucking Mac that I will be editing my videos on. Thank you so much to my fiance. He is too amazing. Um, but yeah, we found some Ardell lashes. And then these are the other ones that I found too. So these I thought they were really fun. These are the Ardell Professional Edgy Lashes. So I couldn't pass up dollar lashes. You know, you know. Um, then I saw this really cute, like, green pistachio-looking nail polish. Although, I don't paint my nails that often. I, I really want to paint my nails. This is my toenails this color, so that's why I picked that up. Um, but today's main video, realistically, is this brought this new brand that I've been seeing in my Dollar Tree. Hold on, let me put this down really quickly. Um, and it's by this brand called Be Pure. So Ioni has been like owning the Dollar Tree for a while as like the Dollar Tree brand. Um, Ioni Beauty, Ioni Cosmetics, but we have this new brand called Be Pure. So I picked up like so many different things from them. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five different things from them, I think. And there was this other brand that I recently just saw on there too. Okay. So all the stuff that we're going to be trying out in this video today is basically by this brand called Be Pure. So I found two different primers by them. They have this hydrating primer serum, um, which has rose oil. This is what it looks like. Okay, cool. Love that. Then they also have this um, Be Pure Blur Face Primer. Okay, love that. Love them for the pink themes. Um, they also have this hydrating under eye concealer with hyaluronic acid in it, benefits for eye cream. Now, they had a foundation that was there, but it was a medium tone foundation, so I probably could have got that and mixed this together, but this one is still, I'm unsure if this is gonna work for us or not, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna use it as like all over the face, um, and there's that. Then I got these two blushes, which are right here for us. Um, this darker one is in the shade Hibiscus, and then this more, pinky mauve tone one is in the shade Dahlia. So I thought these would be really cute to use in today's video as well. 
Um, then we found a Flower Beauty product. This is a chubby stick. I'm pretty sure it's an eyeshadow stick. It just says it's the Scribble Stick Color Eye um, color for eyes and lips. Now, I'm sure if I've owned this before or not, so this might be a repurchase and I kind of just forgot. So there's that. But I thought that this would go actually really well for eyeshadow and maybe lips. Um, and combined with this LA Colors like shimmery, intense shimmer with brush, loose eyeshadow, and the color Radiant. So I thought that those two would go really, really cute together. Um, and then, again, I can never pass up Ioni lashes. Ooh, I almost missed something in here. Oh, I almost missed something. Um, I did pick up two more sets of Ioni lashes. These are in a different, like, scheme. So this is in Love Story Natural Short Crisscross. Um, and again, they are 100% handmade. And this is what they look like. And then the other one I got was Beauty Spell. This is their Natural Medium Cat Eye. So... I thought these would be really, really fun to put on our eyes today. And then the last two products, this is actually by Be Pure as well. This is a hydrating lipstick um, infused with rose oil. It doesn't have a shade name on it, but I'm hoping it's like this color maybe. So we'll see which one's going to be the better option once we get into this video. And last but not least, there was a setting spray, guys. There was a setting spray. This is by a different brand um, that I've never seen the Dollar Tree either. This is the Le Merciari... Um, favorite essentials collection and this is a matte finishing setting spray formulated with shea butter and argan oil but as i was reading the ingredients on the back there's actually niacinamide in this as well which is really really cool so i'm excited to try this out and see if it's good or not so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into this video and see how these products turn out on my face let me zoom you in just a little bit so I think we're going to start off with the hydrating primer. This just sounds like a really good idea just because, A, I just took off the makeup I had on my face, um, so I need to put something back on. Hopefully, this is just as good. This reminds me of, like, the, um, the Wet n' Wild ones, so I'm hoping this is just as good. And if it is, then we just scored. Okay, well, first off, that's not good. So um, we might have to fix this. I think it may have just broke, guys. That's not good. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. It's fine. Honestly, it smells like the Wet n Wild one. I'm going to be honest. Okay, honestly, that does remind me of like the Wet n Wild one. Wet n Wild has like a bunch of these um, serums. And that's literally, it's giving me that vibes. Then we also do have the Blurring Face Primer. Um, I kind of want to feel the consistency of this. Okay, what are the ingredients? Interesting, okay. I'm gonna put a little bit where I think I need it. Right on my nose. A little bit of blurring on my chin. Okay, moving on, next product. Okay, next product is this one. I'm scared for this one, but you know what? We're gonna try. So far, the first two haven't really let me down, so let's see what this looks like on our hand. Guys, I think we might have a match. I think we might have a match here. Okay. We're going to treat it like it's foundation, and hopefully this works. So, um, But I feel like that did nothing, so give me two seconds. Let's just see if we do it the, like this way you know what I mean like how I normally would do it if I decided I want to put it all over my face okay we're gonna put it where I think I need a little bit extra coverage like here underneath our eyes a little bit around the nose back around the t-zone let's see if this is buildable I hopefully it is okay so this actually isn't looking that bad the only thing I can say is the slight smell of it. The slight smell is what's throwing me off just a little bit, you know? Okay, so there's that. What is underneath my nail? Oh, I'm pretty sure that's ink from yesterday. Okay, so I don't have other products such as like bronzer and stuff, so I'm going to, okay, so I don't have bronzer and like that, so I'm going to stick to like my normal bronzer. This is still Wet n Wild, which is, which sometimes you can find Wet n Wild in um, the Dollar Tree. So we're just going to go with a little bit of this just so I don't have, so I don't look pale, okay? 
Now, I don't have a setting powder whatsoever, um, but I do have like a drugstore setting powder. So I'm going to use this one really quickly. This is just the Fit Me one, um, just so I don't keep creasing underneath my eyes. And honestly, I'm just going to take whatever's left in this bin underneath my eyes and that's it you know we're just gonna we're gonna leave it at that just tap in just a little bit not too much because I want the true makeup to stand out of what the products that I'm using so there's that okay so is it me or is this slightly oxidizing can what are you guys thinking because I feel like it's slightly oxidizing um, but these are the two blushes that we have here so this one is in Dahlia and this one is in hibiscus um, I don't know which one I'm feeling more. I think we're gearing towards this one maybe more. And if this one doesn't work out, then we'll top it off with that one. So let me grab a clean brush brush really quickly. I'm going to go in with this one. Is that giving us color? Ugh, but this brush is not doing me any favors. Okay, so pretty. I kind of want to swatch these on my hands really quickly. Um, so I'm just kind of like a pale-ish pink. That's what that one looks like. And then the other one is... Um, looks like that. So one's a little bit more mauve toned. I will say they are kind of patchy. Um, just a little bit, or maybe that was just my swatching, I don't know. They are a little bit chalky, I will say that, just slightly on the chalky side. So, so let's pull out the other two products, which are right here. So we've got the Chubby Stick from, um, Flower Beauty, and we'll swatch that really quickly. And the shade Bittersweet. Okay, so it's like a brownie shade, I love that. I think that'll actually go really well. Um. Now, I don't know if I used to love these or hate these. Um, so, we're going to, you know, tappy tap, get the product in here. Shake, shake, shake. And then swatch on our hand. I will say the brush sometimes sucks, but I feel like the powder inside is like 10 times better. So, we are giving like a little bit of a like shimmery vibe. I wonder if these two on top of each other are going to get good. So, let me swatch that on top of it. And that's what they are, look like on top of each other. Okay, so we're doing good there. And then I really want to see what the lippy looks like. Now, how the freak mortis do I get this out of here? Okay, last but not least, we have a lippy. <gasps> look at this shade, guys. Okay. <laughs> Is it going to be good? Okay, very smooth, giving glossy. Love that. I just don't know if that's going to be the lip that's going to pull together this look. Um, because it's just, it's not, it's not the right tone. It's not the right tone for the products that I have to work with. So, we're going to put this on our eyes, this brown shade. Okay, that looks pretty. I actually really like that. Um, as for lips, we're just going to see what this looks like now. So let's just go for it. Okay, love that. I actually really do like this, like, deep tone. It's giving right now. It's really giving. Okay, now for the eyeshadow. Let's just see how well this is going to work. Um, and maybe I'll just put it on, like, the inner part of my eye, just, like, in the center. Just to, like, give a little bit of something in the center. Okay, fun. I think this is looking, uh, this actually isn't turning out too bad. It's not too bad yet. Um, okay, so we're going to do a little bit of mascara. I don't think it really matters what mascara is because we're going to try the eyelashes here in a second. So, Okay, last but not least, we're going in with the Ardell 344s. Um, these are the like water adhesive ones. I will say they feel weird. They like feel hard. But hopefully that changes. I am going to kind of see if I can like trim these still a little bit because I need to trim them down. And then um, we're going to take, so I don't have water in front of me, but I have contact solution. Hopefully that works exactly the same. We're going to take the lid and just pour a little bit of that in here and see what the fuck this does. Because um, I'm deaf. Oh, shit. 
I dropped it. I fucking dropped it. I dropped the whole lash in there. I got the whole lash wet, guys. <laughs> what a fucking ninny am I. Okay, well, we're just gonna go for it and call it a day. I don't know how well these are gonna work. These might just have to come off. These, I don't know if these were a gimmick or not a gimmick. Or if I just completely fucked this up. Like, maybe they're too wet. Maybe they have to get tacky. Like, this is, this isn't, this isn't working. It's not working. Okay, this is a flop. So, I'm kind of irritated that I bought, like, multiples of theirs. Maybe I just need to try it again, but off camera and do it the right way. Um, All right, well, the last product that we have to use is the setting spray. So, at least let's try and see how this works. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh. Okay. The mister on that is nice. That's a nice mister. So this is the final makeup look and how it turned out using the makeup products from the Dollar Tree. So what are my final thoughts right now at the moment? The Flower Beauty product is always a must. It's always good. Flower Beauty always comes out with some bangers and some hits. The setting spray, obviously I need to see how this works a little bit more. But I like it. It's travel size. Hopefully it actually does something, but I like the smell of it. Um, the primers, I obviously need to test them out a little bit more. What did I just do with it? Um, these two primers, but I will say this one's giving Wet n Wild vibes. This one was kind of giving me almost like Benefit vibes. Like the, um, oh my god, what's it? The hydrating primer, but not like the, the light primer. I think it's that one. The one that's not like completely silicone, but like the one that's like the in-between. That's what this was giving me. That's what this was giving me. If I can remember what it's called, I will put a picture of it and you guys will know exactly it. It'll, it'll click. It'll definitely click. Um, as for the blushes, I'm in between. I'm indifferent. It definitely gave color. Love that. Um, I kind of want to do my typical makeup routine, but they were a little bit more on the powdery side. But the pink one definitely gives pigment. So I want to try that out again. This lip product, I really didn't get to see, but the pigment's there. And it looks glossy. Um, obviously I want to try this one out on its own, so there's that. Um, as for the loose shimmer, I think this would be really cute, um, even more. I think it looks really cute on the eyes right now at the moment, so I'm not, I'm not doubting it. Um, although I wish I didn't, I don't like the brush. I don't like the brush. Why do they do that? I don't like the brush. As for the hydrating fair skinned under eye concealer as much as I used it as a foundation it still feels slightly tacky all over the face which again is supposed to be give hydrating it's supposed to be like nourishing to the skin with hyaluronic acid um I do think it looks like it may have oxidized just a little bit um on my face but I don't think it's terrible I definitely it's, it's definitely giving like light coverage it's giving like tinted moisturizer if you know what I mean like that's what I feel that it's it's giving to me um, but yeah, that was all of the Dollar Tree products. And again, I think we found some really good stuff. We also found some flops. So the one flop was the Ardell Aqua Lashes. Um, no wonder why it says patent pending and they never, they never kept these. They never kept these. These were a flop. They were garbage. They're done. I have like two other pairs, which really sucks. Um, but like I'm still like holding these right now at the moment. They they're still not tacky. They still feel like it still feels hard as a rock, guys. Like the glue never did anything. I think that's why these were a flop. Like I can peel the glue off right now. Like it's it's nothing. It's garbage. Okay. Garbage is really what it is. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys have been finding any good any steals and deals of makeup products at your Dollar Tree. If you have, I need to know. Um, we definitely know the other Ardell lashes are good ones because they're just regular lashes and the Ioni lashes are always great. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And again, I will see you guys in the next one. So without further ado, you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, this video a big thumbs up because it helps me so, so much. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to, and don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me, your girl Senior D, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!